That, that's what I meant to ask you. Everybody that you killed, did you cut all their fingers off? Did you always do that? No. Only those that we didn't want them to be found. With them, we basically just threw them through the tree shredder. That's the way. Uh, let people try to figure out what happened to them. They'd be like, man, Clyde ran off. No, no, no. I mean, he done ran off. Don't nobody wait yet. Nobody can't find him. I'm like, that's a dang... That's a dang shame, ain't it? Mm, mm, mm. People be like, you know something, don't you? I don't know anything. I'm just saying the same thing you saying. That's a dang shame. The boy ran off. Nobody know where he went? He said, no, he just disappeared. Mm, mm, mm. Sometime I give him a hint by saying, you want some bacon? Because <laughs> most likely y'all done ate him if you eating pork. That's why none of my crew would, wouldn't eat pork. You know, why, why can't we eat pork? I said, it's a secret ingredients in that pig that those boys putting in. Especially the white boys out there in Bellevue. The one, matter of fact, they just got caught not too long ago of shredding people. <laughs> they finally caught up with about like, whoa. We told them fools, man, you, you got to clean up after yourself. You leave fingertips out there in the pig slot, they're going to find them bones, those human bones. You got to clean it up. We cleaned up ours every time we fed the pigs. Y'all got to clean up your own. And they were trying to tell on me. Too late, I already told on myself. They can't do nothing to me. I told everything I ever did. They were like, <sighs> We didn't know you did so much and so, I don't know, that's your problem. You made the deal, stick to it. Immunity across the table, baby. <laughs> so I ain't scared to tell you about who we shot or who we m murdered. Even though most of the time I did do hits with certain people, but I didn't really want to because I knew that if they ever got caught, they, they gonna flip. And sure enough, they flipped, so I'm glad that I gave all my crimes up before they did because then the police was like, oh, you didn't tell us about this one on the freeway. You didn't tell us about the one in the house or back there in the gas station or at the after hour joint or them guys up at the park playing tennis. You shouldn't be playing tennis. If you know you a drug dealer and you got uh, enemies, you going up to hit the ball, boom! That's the end of you. <laughs> And I remember the police station was right across from the tenant, from the tenant's yard when we hit him. And I didn't really like it, but hey, we did it. And I was like, okay, man, come on, let's go. We go and then we get back to the uh, to his house because his girlfriend worked it for the the DEA. That's how we knew what cars that the DA was bringing up from Florida or California, whatever, driving around trying to act like they drug dealers. And we were like, hey, officer, nice car. Florida, right? <laughs> They'd be like, how in the heck is these people knowing what we get these cars from? Because the girl telling us everything about y'all. Same way when, when they hired me to, 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 to kill the DA agent. They uh, said, how did you know what she, I said, she fed us, fed me information. She told me what type of car they had and this and that. And the girl got in there because she had got with the Italian guy and set him up. But he got indicted. But he don't tell me he got indicted. I didn't know he was indicted. Cause I never was, I never would have had went around him. But he asked me to meet him out at the restaurant. I go to the restaurant, and I felt something that didn't feel right. Uh, uh, something don't feel right. But I go in there and had a little meeting with him. He tell me what he want me to do and this and that. I say, ain't no problem. He said, uh, you ain't got no problem doing it. I ain't. Hey, everybody bleeds just like we do. If they're involved with this, <laughs> money talks. I don't care who they are. So, of course, we found out where she parked her car and this and that. And then, uh, before I got
got a chance to hit her, I got caught up in this shootout. So when I told them everything, I had to, I had told them everything, even about that, even about how we was going to also get white boy Rick, because we knew where he was in the witness unit. <laughs> we already tried to hit him in prison, but we was going to get him in the witness unit next. But uh, I told him where the weapons was and everything. They went and found the weapons like, wow. I like, yeah. If we do a job, we're going to do a job. And plus, there was more witnesses in there. So if we blew that building up, we would have went around and collected for every every witness we killed. We would have told them, hey, man, y'all owe us. Now, either you pay us or you got to watch your back from us. And if you don't like it, well, you can shoot me in the head now. He said, what? I said, you see all those dots in your chest? They were like, Hey, man, what the? I just, shh, 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 shh. Don't move and don't talk too loud or those dots going to become wet spots. So you're like, man, we paid you to do something, man, and you, and you, and you got all these dots on us. Well, I'm just letting you know. Don't fuck with me. These guys are professional snipers. They don't miss. But which car said, man, ain't no problem. But I didn't know that he was indicted. And by the time that I found out, I was already having charges brought up on me when they showed me pictures of me going into his restaurant. I was like, now how in the hell did they know about him? They showed me that, and then they showed me audio of us talking. I'm like, man, this boy, ooh. I was like, I can give you the boy. They said, okay, we want you to testify. I said, ain't no problem. He should have told me that he was indicted because I never would have messed with him. So when it comes time to testify, I went in the court and testified against him. But uh, I didn't like it, but hey, you should have told us that you was, you was indicted because you let a female DA agent get in with you. And you tried to introduce her to me too. And I had told him, man, I don't want to meet none of your friends. And don't tell nobody my name, whether real or not. I don't want to meet her. I didn't know she was a DEA agent, but later I found out what she was. Well, I don't mind doing her because she know who I am. So I don't mind doing her, but the pay going to be correct. How many years uh, were you offered originally before you uh, gave up those six people? No I, no, I was looking at life without parole. But the feds came and said they'll make a deal. You give us... What was the deal? You give us uh, these six people that you, uh, that you got on your uh, hit list and we'll get you hmm, 15 years, 18. I said, nah, that's, nah, that's too much. I'll be dead by then. So then they came back. Okay, how about 15 years? Nah, I can't do that. I just can't do that. I'm going to give you these people, especially Terrence Booker Brown. Y'all want him. So they said. So these six people, wait, these six people were people you plan, you were planning to kill? Yeah. They didn't know that, but <laughs> that's why I said I give you these six because when they come in, we're going to butcher them. The game is still on, just a different background. There's no guns. Other than the gun I hid in prison, has a three fifty seven, had buried in the back forty. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get that in prison? The guards brown it. The guy, man, you could buy anything or anyone, and they was all on my payroll. Most of them was uh, tooting up, piped up. I mean, the guards was basically alcoholic junkies and so forth. You just had to find their weak spot, and I found their weak spot. So I said, hey. Why don't you go get that 357? He said, what you say? I said, look at this. $2,000 just sitting there. Cash money. All you had to do is pick up that package and bring it to me. Come on. But you just told me it was 357. I said, yeah, but I just only told you that so you know. Don't come in here like Miss, uh, or like Mr. Dum Dum. 
put it in some when you bring it in so you don't get busted. Because I know that y'all had to go through that uh, search too when y'all come in if you look like you might have something. But he got it in to me. And uh, I buried it in the back 40. So I never, you know, was going to use it like I told him. I ain't going to never use it unless the shit really hit the fan where I got to go to it. If I got to go to it, that means I'm going to die. God, I know y'all going to shoot me. <laughs> Especially the men up on the guard tower. Oh, man, they love shooting people in the legs, but they can't wait to shoot somebody in the chest or the head. 